test today is all about sopapilla. So this is a type of Chilean food which I used to have in my childhood a lot. My mum used to make it all the time. I make it every now and again. So I'm going to make it today for you guys. Let's go sopapillas. Woo! Hey guys! ¿Qué tal? I'm his assistant. What assistant? <laughs> nothing. Filming me cooking. <laughs> so, in Chile, do guys cook or girls cook? So guys, I very rarely cook. Rachel does all the cooking. Her cooking is amazing. My cooking is shocking. But I do know how to make some Chilean stuff. Sopapillas is one of them. We'll see if it works out. Sopapillas and completos. And completos, yeah. First of all, I'm just cutting the sopapillas in chunks. Step one. I'm helping you. Pot. Pumpkin. Done. More pumpkin? Why not? Chuck it in. Chuck more. Heaps of pumpkin. Go for it. Oh, heaps of pumpkin. More pumpkin, more sort of beers. Ah, uh, Henry, Henry's coming, guys. Da -da 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 -da. What do you mean? No, no, Henry. Look. The other day, Nick brought Henry's pre Christmas present. Look, gingerbread man. Yeah, but he's already eaten the leg. He's already eaten the leg. Boiling water, pumpkin, leave it for about 20 minutes, make it really soft, squash it, halfway there. So, I believe Chileans use um, sapayo squash, so not actually pumpkin. So, I'm not too sure what the traditional ingredient is. But over here, pumpkins are very available very easily at supermarkets. So I'm going the butternut pumpkin option. Personally, I love it. It's really yummy. Let's see how it turns out. Three tablespoons, so say six tablespoons. I reckon just about a quarter of this butter, maybe. Can you eat the whole block of butter as a challenge? <laughs> I want to see if on YouTube anyone has eaten the whole block of butter as a challenge. You'd probably die, so don't do that. 20 minutes, it's boiled. And then you gotta mash it, guys. So as you can see, the half pumpkin actually made a lot of puree, so probably we'll make a lot of sopa beers with this. It's unsalted, this one. So now I'm at the stage of baking powder. Sopa beers is actually a very easy thing to make because it requires very little ingredients. There's about five ingredients or so, and all the ingredients are extremely cheap. The pumpkin's probably the most expensive, but it's still fairly cheap. So it's a really good cheap snack. Henry, you're not allowed in the kitchen. Come on, I've told you so many times. In the meantime, we are preheating oil. Pretty happy with that, look at that. That's a soccer ball. Yo, yeah. listo para jugar. You need one of these. So, um... I know my mum, I think, used to use a mug or a plate, a small plate. Let's see the size of this. Let's see how we go. So that would be quite small, actually, so... That's quite small. Isn't it too... Too thin? Too thin. No, because it will come rise up a little bit. Just make some holes in it. For super beers, there's two things you can do. You can have them just like this. I mean, not just like this, cooked. But um, also, you make like a little kind of soup. Like with uh, brown sugar, clove, cinnamon. And then you put the super beers in it. Or you dribble it over it. So let me know if you, which do you prefer, the dry sopapilla or the wet sopapilla? For me personally, dry all the way, but sometimes the wet one in a really cold day, nice and hot, um, it's really yummy. In the meantime, he's been making coffee. Look. Henry, I told you, don't use the coffee machine. Um, I'll let you know about two minutes on each side. Of course, that's dependent on how hot your oil is. We're very, we just want things quick, 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 quick. So oil isn't that heated, yeah? Pretty amazing. Thanks. 
So this is the tough bit where it never looks quite right like how your mum usually makes it, but it's looking pretty good. Um, they're out of shape a bit, and you know, the colour's not that exact colour that you get, but I reckon it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's so far, so good. Let's see with the taste test. So let's get straight into the taste. We just showed you how the cooking process was a little bit, which was pretty funny. Yeah, and, and then I got injury. And then Rachel got injured all down there. She's all red from the oil from the Sopa Pia splashback. So always, this is a, a warning for you guys. Be careful of the Sopa Pia splashback. It's very um, deadly. Terrible. So it actually cut open her skin, which I've never seen oil do that. So that's really odd. So um, these sort of beers, they were made with love and they were made with, I don't know, with, with blood. <laughs> they were made with blood. <laughs> so we put our blood, sweat and tears into this. Um, okay, let's go for it. So these, um, as you can see, it's a nice golden brown color. Um, nice warm hot. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Don't you love it when you make something yourself? And um, it's perfect. It's exactly how um, it should be. It's a delicious soap of beer. Mm. Yum. Yeah. Uh, is it worth the burns all over your body? <laughs> it is? Okay. There you go. Mmm. It's pumpkin-y, buttery. Mm. Mm. So I'll probably put, I would say probably too much butter, it becomes more of a, I don't know, shortbread kind of mm. taste to it. So I would put probably a bit less butter, but it makes it yummier, just probably more sickening, so you probably can't have as many. I would say it's like bread, I, I just kind of feel like it's more biscuit. Mmm. Some of beers is a weird thing, I always wondered, yeah, because I've heard some people call it pumpkin bread, but it's not really bread, it is more of a biscuit kind of. Mm. Mm. It's just a yummy, savory snack. Let us know in the comments down below, have you ever tried a sopa beer? Do you even know what it is? It is so yummy. If you ever get the chance to try it, definitely try it. You will love it. Um, it's a very popular Chilean street food and also people make it at home as well, which we've just done. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this one and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for coming.